So, Satara, I want to start with you. The last time I saw you before Little Moss was on You Bet Your Ass. And so, it was quite a different sort of thing, right? Like going from You Bet Your Ass to Little Moss. Um, how did you make the, the transition? As Brandon says, it's, you know, it's same the same wardrobe. character with a... Same wardrobe. Completely different. <laughs> same wardrobe. Yeah. That's same like me being a football player, you know? Um, you know, what's, what's cool about it is that uh, I was given the opportunity to play something that was a completely different side of my range. Someone, basically, the people from CBC and Little Moss took a big chance on someone who had only done uh, more sex symbol type She's stuff. She's Canada's sweetheart. <laughs> oh, that's nice, Brandon. So, take it right there from my co-star, Brandon Furlow. And, uh, yeah, it was just just a huge gift for an actor to, that I didn't get typecast from that role, because that stuff was fun, but it was just a character, another character I could play. And uh, playing Rand has been much more meaningful to me. Mm -hmm. It's changed my life in a lot of ways. Well, t tell me about the show, you know, like, do you get a lot of feedback from Muslims going, no, you did that wrong, no, you don't pray that way, no, you know, is there is there a lot of feedback like that? I wouldn't say I'm a lot of um, correctional feedback like that. <laughs> Most of the feedback is always very positive about how much they love seeing the show about um, about them. Right, right, <laughs> so right. Sure. But, uh, I get no um, positive feedback. Oh, really? From any religious group. Do they just call you the white guy? Even my parents, uh, <laughs> not even... Not even having to deal with the show. Mm -hmm. Just no good feedback. Really? Yeah. Wow. That, I live a hard life. It's rough to be an actor. Um, no, it's uh, <laughs> for me. For me coming in because I was this, you know, the, the antagonistic force. Uh, I did get more um, Christians who are upset. Really? And, uh, Muslims. Which I found very interesting. Our fan base, I've noticed, is, if I can say it, it's a lot of uh, Christians yeah. and churchgoers and a lot of, like, younger Muslims. So it's older Christians and younger Muslims. Yeah, right, that, right. I notice that so much. If I go to, my mom's Christian, if I go to her church, they all watch every episode of the show. Right. And I hear everything from, like, I love the show to I hated your wedding dress to, like, everything. It's, and they're, they're Anglicans, so it's funny. I want to talk a little bit about this next season. This is going to be the last one, I believe, right? Yes. Yeah. So is it more comfortable knowing that, like in advance, knowing that this is the final hurrah, you know, rather than being on pins and needles about whether it gets renewed? Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, I, I guess um, closure is always nice when you know something eventually is right. going to close because, you know, these days um, TV shows don't last 10 or 12 years anymore. So when you're getting into your third or fourth season, you know that uh, you could be counting the number of seasons on one hand exactly. you know, very easily. So in that sense, it's, it's always nice to have closure, sure, I think so. It's nice, too, um, just as a, a creative person because there's no pressure. So you go, okay, I'll try stuff that I was a little afraid to try before because this is my chance. I'm going to take it. Yeah. Yeah. A bit riskier. Yeah. A lot more topless ones for me. Less oh, wow. More. A lot more. So, so now I'm going to make an appointment television. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, no, actually, it'll, we'll definitely That's lose viewers if I take my top. I guarantee that.